in this video tutorial we will see how we can run llama 2 on our cpu locally so before we go ahead i have just launched a langchain course on udemy uh, in this course we will be building 12 large language model apps using openai and llama 2 the course price is 13 dollars the course content details are provided over here you can check the course content details it's launched uh, three days back and already 86 students have enrolled and we have got a five out of five rating and you can see uh, we have other courses over here as well so i have already i have already launched six courses on udemy platform which include different computer vision courses and large language model courses so course contents details are provided over here we will be implementing 12 different projects in this course plus i will be adding more content in this course as a uh, new language model large language model appears the, those details will be provided in this course as well so let's uh, move towards the uh, code part so in this video tutorial we will discover how to run quantized version of llama 2 on our local cpu we will also see how we can use it for doing question answer with our documents also llama 2 comes with pre-trained and fine-tuned chat, uh, chat model so pre-trained is this model is used for dialogue completion uh, we will use fine-tuned chat model in this uh, tutorial as it is used for chat as well as uh, for question answer with our documents as well as we are using quantized version of llama 2 so that we can run llama 2 on our local cpu so why we require quantized version of llama 2 why we don't uh, use the original version of llama 2 model chat model uh, with 7 billion or 13 billion or with 60 billion parameters so why we use we are using quantized version of llama 2 so that we can run llama 2 on our cpu so let's see what is quantization so large language models either it is llama 2 or any other large language model they basically require a lot of uh, computational capabilities and plus they are very memory intensive as well they require a lot of memory but and also they require a lot of computation inference as well so uh, to overcome this issue like everybody don't have a 16 gb uh, ram in their system available like i have in my local system i have 8 gb ram available okay so if you want to run a uh, uh, llama 2 original llama 2 with 15 uh, bit so it will require around uh, with 16 bit so it will require around 15 gp of memory size so you have around if you have 8 gp of ram so you cannot run this on your local system okay so as a large language model require a lot of computational capability capability inference and they are very memory intensive as well so to overcome this issue we use quantization so what does quantization do is quantization compress the size of large language models so quantization will compress the size memory size of the llama 2 model and it will also accelerate increase the computation inference while maintaining the model performance so our uh, use if we just convert our model into uh, we if we just create a quantized version of llama 2 model so what are its benefits first of all it will reduce the memory size Thus, it will accelerate, increase the computational inference and our model performance or accuracy will not be disturbed. So, but, uh, how does quantization work in case of large language model is? In case of large language model, uh, the quantization works by reducing the precision of model uh, parameters uh, by storing the weight in the lower precision data type. So, here we will be using a GGML version of LAMA2 model. So, let me just show you. So here in this tutorial, I will be using this GGML version of Llama 2 model. So GGML version of uh, basically quantized version of uh, large language model. So here, this is a quantized version of Llama 2 model with 7 billion parameters. So this is the quantized version of Llama 2 chat model with 7 billion parameters in binary format. Plus uh, to uh, use this uh, GGML model, uh, Llama 2 GGML model, we will be using C transformers library. So C transformers is a Python library that provide bindings for transformers model implemented in C++ using GGML library. So let's get back to the code. So here I have already done the code. So I will not start writing again the code. I will just give you a quick overview. So here you can see I've just imported a Langchain C transformers. So basically uh, we are using C transformers library so that we can uh, run the GGML model. And we have our Langchain is a framework uh, which is used uh, with, uh, which is used to run build the large language model. 
and basically we are using sentence transformers embeddings to convert our text into embeddings okay here i have uh, so here i have imported all the required libraries from template and lm chain so basically here we are creating a prompt template we will create our uh, we use we will use the default system template but we will also create a custom prompt template as well here is our llm chain so to execute the prompt template we require llm chain and here we have the c transformer so c transform is a python library that provides bindings for the large language model that are uh, implemented in uh, c plus uh, ggml format okay so here are basically our instruction tag and system tags okay so basically uh, Llama 2 models has a different default system prompt. So this is a default system prompt of the Llama 2 model. So it, you can see we can say that Llama 2 model has been trained with this default system prompt. I have already explained in my previous videos. Okay, and here uh, is the default system prompt, and here is my instruction which I am just passing to the Llama 2 model. Convert the following text from English to French, and this text will be the in, uh, input from my side. Okay, so here we have a template ready and here we have the prompt template and the input variables will be text over here and here you can see that we are using a uh, llama uh, 2 model uh, with uh, llama 2 model in bin format quantized version of llama 2 model in bin format so let me just show you uh, what we are using so if i just go to file version so what i am doing is that i am using this llama 2 7 billion model in ggml format and this is the uh, model okay so i'm using four bit model okay so it has eight bit model as well so but if you use eight bit model it will take around uh, 9.6 gp of your memory size so i have 8 gp ram so i have 8 gp ram so if i cannot use eight bit model because it will take 9.6 gp of my memory size so i will use four gp four bit model it will take around 5.4 gp of my memory size okay so you can just uh, by clicking over here you can download this model so you just need to go to llama 2 7 billion chat model in ggml format and then you just need to go to over here and you just need to download the uh, 4 bit model uh, because it will take around 5.4 gp memory size but uh, as i have 8 gp of ram available in my local computer but if you have 16 gp of ram in available in your local computer you can simply download the 8 bit model it will give you better result but in case of 4 bit model we uh, basically uh, compromise on our accuracy okay so i will be using 4 bit model because it will take around 5.4 gp of uh, memory size as i have 8 gp ram but this 8 gp model a uh, 8 bit model will take around uh, 9.6 gp of memory size but it is not useful in my case as i have only 8 gp ram available okay so you can just go over here and click on download from here simply okay it will start downloading i have already downloaded this model so you can see that in this download folder i have placed this model over here so you can just create a models folder and just add this model over here so here i'm just using c transformers library so you can see that here i'm just passed my model path over here model time is llama to a llama model and here i've just passed maximum new tokens like how many uh characters we want in the output so one token is equal to four english characters so if we just multiply 128 by four so this will be we have 506 english characters at the output and the temperature value 0 0.01 so temperature value varies from 0 to 1 and to execute this prompt template we require lm chain and here we are using c transformers library so c transformer library provide bindings for the models implemented in uh, implemented in ggml format okay for the models in ggml format and here i am just running this chain so here what i am trying to convert convert the following text from english to french and this text uh this text how are you will be passed as an input over here okay so let me just execute this python llama 2 dash locally dot what so just remember here we are using default system prompt so this is the default system prompt uh, you can just check for the details okay so by going to the github repo of llama model so now let's see uh, how much time it takes here is our response so it took around uh, one to two minutes uh, to generate a response sure i would be happy to help the translation of how are you in french is 
comment vastu okay so i'm not an uh, i'm not a native french speaker so i might be wrong in speaking that okay so here we have the translation of how are you in french is this okay so uh, this is uh, one way you can see that we have run llama 2 on our system locally so currently we can see that we have used a uh, default system prompt you can see over here so now you can see that here i'm just defining a custom system prompt you are advanced assistant assistant that provides translation from english to french and here i just passed the instruction over here yeah, text so let's run this and see uh, how does it works uh, if we use our custom system prompt okay so this might take few seconds before we get the answer so here is our response uh, Sure, here is a translation of for you in French, comment ka wa. So you can see that uh, if you use custom system prompt, uh, get the same answer. And here you can see that we are using default system prompt. Okay. So now we will see how we can do question answer with our documents. So I have already explained this code in my previous uh, tutorials project. So I will just go a quick overview of this code. So first of all, uh, importing prompt template, then I'm just uh, importing retrieval QA, and then I'm just downloading embeddings from Hugging Face so that we can convert the text chunk into embeddings. And then I am just uh, creating a vector store using Pi so that I can store the embeddings. And then I have Pi PDF loader, and, and then I have the directory loader over here. And here I have just recursive text splitter so that I can uh, split the text into chunks, okay? And then here I have C transformers and so that C transformers are basically the Python library that provide findings for the large transformer models that are implemented in uh, GGML format. Okay, so here I've just imported, you can just remove this library and here I have sys, imported sys library. Okay, so if I just want to show you a quick overview of how this architecture works, so let me just show you. So here you can see the architecture diagram. So the user uploads a PDF file. In the next step, we extract the data or content from that PDF file. So after extracting the data or content, so we cannot pass the data or content from the PDF file directly to the Lama 2 model. The reason is that, so if we have a PDF document of around 170 pages, it contains a lot of huge number of text. But as large language model, uh, including Lama 2 model, they have some input limit, like you can pass maximum, like, uh, you can pass 4096 token at the input of the uh, Lama 2 model. So what does 4096 token means? So 4096 token means one token is equal to four English characters. So you can pass around 16,000 English characters at the input of Lama 2 model. So if we have 170 page PDF, so it will have much more uh, English character than 16,000. Okay, so it can have 90,000 English characters or it can have a 1 lakh English characters, okay? So we cannot pass that uh, the data from extracted from the PDF file directly to the Lama 2 model because it has input limit of 16,000 English characters and we cannot pass 80,000 English characters directly to the Lama 2 model. So we split the extracted text into chunks. So we basically create chunks, like each chunk will create around, contain around 2,000 English characters or 4,000 English characters. So we just split the extracted data into multiple chunks so you can see that we will split the extracted data into multiple chunks then we will create embeddings for each of the text chunk so now we will just create embeddings for each of the text chunk so why we create embeddings for each of the text chunk is that embeddings reduce compress the size of the chunk okay so to reduce the size of the text chunks we create embeddings so um, uh, embeddings are basically embeddings is you can say that is a vector that contains floating point numbers so embedding is a vector that contains floating point numbers so to reduce the uh, size of text chunk we create embeddings for the check chunks so embeddings are uh, vectors that contain floating point numbers and then we store all those embeddings in the knowledge base okay so then we store all those embeddings in the knowledge base so when the user asks a question we create embeddings for that question and then we do semantic search like uh, for that question we find our top four answers from our knowledge base okay then we basically pass that response uh, like top four answers to our basically lama2 model and we also pass the question directly to the lama2 model as well that the question that user has asked is passed directly to the lama2 model as well 
and the llama 2 model generates a natural response from here okay so this is how basically it works so now you can see over here uh here i'm just uh in the data folder i have just one this pdf file so i'm just loading this pdf file over here and here i'm just extracting the data from that pdf file so now here after extracting the data from the pdf file i'm splitting the data into text chunks okay then i am downloading embeddings from hugging face then i am just converting the text chunk into embeddings and just creating a file vector store or we are just saving the embeddings in a knowledge base okay so what i am doing over here is so you can see that we are just saving the embeddings in the knowledge base over here okay so we are just saving the embeddings in the knowledge base so we and we are just creating a vector database or knowledge base you can say vector database is a knowledge base so we are just creating a vector database using files and we are just saving the embeddings in the knowledge base okay then we are doing similarity search and it will return us the top three answers so here just, just as a user i am passing this question will v7 outperforms which models okay and here using docs i will just get the top three answers okay then here I am just initializing the Llama 2 model, chat model over here uh, using C transformers library. And this is my input template over here. And here I am just creating a prompt template. And here we have a chain over here. Here this is my dat database. And this is my large language model over here. Chain type is stuff. And here we are just passing this QA prompt over here. Okay. So this is our QA prompt. So let me just show you. So this is our QA prompt we have passed over here and let's execute this and let's see how it works. So you can just create a while loop and do the question answer one by one or you can simply run it. So let me just show you how you can do this with a while loop. Okay, so let's run this. So I'm just executing it now. Here I'm just asking my first question. Yolo V7 is trained on which data set? So I'm just asking this question uh, and this answer lies in this PDF. Okay, so this is a Yolo V7 object detection official uh, paper which is released by the yolo v7 authors so i'm just asking yolo v7 is trained on which data set and let's see what response do we get from here so here we have the response yolo v7 is trained on ms coco data set from scratch without using any other data set or pre-trained grids so this is very accurate answer okay and let's ask yolo v7 is used for this is a que second question which I am asking, so I can just ask multiple questions over here in this prompt. So here we have got the response, Yolo V7 is used for object detection in images. So that's all from this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we have seen that how we can run Llama 2 on our local system. Plus we have also implemented an application in which we are doing question answer with our documents. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.